Prostate Capital Newsroom, you might be seeing higher prices for your prescriptions since the new year started. Yeah, a new law that recently took effect is boosting drug prices in smaller pharmacies around the state. State Capital reporter Chris O'Brien now dives in. If you've noticed higher prescription drug prices in the new year, you're not crazy. A new law quietly took effect in January regarding something known as dispensing fees for low-volume pharmacies. A low-volume pharmacy is a pharmacy that dispenses less than 65,000 prescriptions in a year. So that's going to include most of the rural independently owned pharmacies, the mom and pop shops, the family businesses. A dispensing fee is the charge to cover the cost of dispensing the prescription. Before this year in Tennessee, the law said nothing on dispensing fees. They were governed by the market. Now experts say such fees increased nearly $10 per prescription for low volume pharmacies. It's really going to hurt Tennesseans and those other small employers trying to make that balance in, in keeping their doors open and attracting the right the talent that they need to keep their doors open as well. Someone has to feel that hit, the customer or their employer providing insurance. $10 per prescription may not seem like much, but for a lower income family who might have a few prescriptions a month or children with prescriptions, it adds up quick in a year. The numbers are telling us right now that an average family could see an increase of about $680 on top of what they're already paying for the same level of care. Which experts say ultimately leads them to move away from supporting small local businesses. If I'm going to drive that cost 40 or $50 up more than what the Walgreens down the street is, uh, people are going to shift. If that does happen, those against the law say ultimately our local pharmacies get hurt. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Thank you. Tennessee technically implemented the change as part of a much larger emergency rule. Yeah, today the Department of Commerce and Insurance held a rulemaking hearing to get public input on whether to make those changes permanent.